So I created this dandy little circle and it's like a little cheat thingy. And it basically says mass, density, and then volume. And like, like for instance, if it says like, what's the density for 32.457 grams and then 13.5 centimeters cubed, you would just, it says what's the density for it. So you're just going to cover up density and then how to figure that out, like what's the density for it. You're just going to divide mass and volume. Divide these numbers. 52.457 and 13.5. Easy, and then you get your answer. Which it should be 3.89. Yeah, 3.89. And, yeah. Um, like every number that you have, like ever, unless it's like in basic, basic math, it would have like a unit next to it, like 2 centimeters, 5 feet, 5,000 yards, a million meters, you know. Um, yeah, you could do the sheet circle, and basically, this line here is like... If they're right next to each other, it's multiplication. Like, they're multiplying each other, so to find the mass of something, you would multiply density and volume. Like that. Um, yeah. Um, or you could do this little funny one, I love density. I'm cheating on Kelly. I'm cheating on you with density, man. Density is so sexy. You should be jealous. Um, but basically, like, the heart, I mean, the arrow through the heart is like this thing, the line, like the division line. And the top of the heart is an M, the bottom is a V. So mass divided by volume is how to find the density. Either one works, but that only works for one equation. But anywho, everyone's different. Just cover up this, cover up that, cover up that, and that's how you find your thingamabobbers until you memorize it. Like, for instance, that's what I did here. I covered up density, because it says, what's the density for these numbers? And then I just covered it up, and that's mass divided by volume. And I got 3.89 grams per centimeters cubed. And grams per centimeters cubed is like milliliters. It's the same exact thing. Like, it's the same amount of units, like, if that makes sense. Like how one mile is like 5,080 feet or something like that. It's like the same thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm confusing you, but I hope not. So basically, you're just gonna, um, there's should be like a little, and everyone you read, there's like a little thingy here. And. It's called a meniscus. And it basically, you just always read the cylinder, like you always, sorry, always read the water from the meniscus. Because that's where, like, like that's where the answer is. <laughs> like, for instance, this one is about 37 or 38 milliliters right here, because 30, 35, 36, 37-ish, 38, and then 40, so, yeah, that's how to find the volume of a graduated cylinder, okay, and then, how to find the stinking mass, I think you did this at Lokilani, but I don't know, though, because you were on co-team, so, yeah, but there's your triple beam balance, <laughs> or quadruple beam balance, whatever. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really hyper, kind of. Um, yeah, you just read it from top to bottom. This one um, I work with is a quadruple one. It's a lot easier to read. 
It's just the big one is the one that is like this big and it goes like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. It usually stops about 500. Um, but yeah, there's the top one and we're weighing a stupid little iPod. Isn't it hot? Yeah, I think it's cute. And then there's the 100. And then you just, this one is 30. And that one's 2. And that one's on the 1 mark. So, which in real life that would be like point thirty, but anywho, that's one in my world. Um, yeah, and that's point one, and so you're just you're just gonna add the first three, be a hundred and thirty two, and then this last one, point one, hundred and thirty two point one, easy, um, and. And you have to like weigh it until the line thing hits the zero. Like until like it, it's even, like in the middle. It can't be like this because then it's too light. And then if it's like this, it's too heavy. So it has to be right in the middle. And yeah, you just do that. If but if you only have like if you only have a triple beam balance where there's there's this one's not there anymore. Um this wouldn't be like on a solid number, it would be like 2.5, like it wouldn't be on like on a 3 or a 4 or a 6 or a 2 or a 1, it would be like 3 and then the little millimeter marks would be where the decimal would be. So it would be like 132.5, like, like, like there's little millimeter marks, like right that. And that's basically how to find the, that stuff. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so that's how to find with the circle thing. Just cover up what you're trying to figure out, and there's the equation, or you can just look at that. Um, if you want to copy this down, you can. Might be confusing you, but yeah. Make it simple, just cover up the unit you're trying to solve. There's your um, equation. There's your um, equation. Um, or I love density. Yeah, I love density. Mass divided by volume is how you get density. And then always read from the meniscus. And that's how to find the volume. And like the fun. <sighs> that confused the hell out of me. I don't know about you, but that confused me and I already know it. Um, so yeah, I think that's what your teacher was trying to make you teach you. But if not, then. Well, that's okay. You're worth it. So. So. I hope that helped. If you have any more questions, I'll be here.